All right, so I'll apologize for the light show. It's not a secret plan to make you all blind like me. Um, so uh, for those of you who didn't see me get up on the stage with uh, a cane, I happen to be blind. So if I do ask you any questions uh, during this talk, uh, nodding your head or raising your hand doesn't really work so well. So we're going to dispense with that. Just say yay or whatever your affirmation sound is, like one or FF, whatever. So. Um, so we can uh, go ahead and get started. I just thought maybe I'll show you how I use a computer and then, uh, you know, it's a little fast, so I'm gonna slow it down and go over a couple of concepts all, along the way. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, one really quick thing. So the captions are working, correct? Yes. I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Mirabai. It's really awesome to have the microphone because she has to type what I say. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to like take a little bit of like power hungry moments and just thank her so much for being like the best track transcriber and uh, card provider there is. So thank you, Mirabai. Bye. All right, let's get started. So let's just uh, let's just Google for something. Volume up a little bit if we can. Thank you. Don't worry, I'll control it from my end. So give me a little bit more gain. Be a good citizen. Okay, thanks. All right. Algorithm and so on and so forth. Everybody following along? Great. All right. So, actually, whenever we do this, dev, uh, DevOps, this is how I use a computer after all. I like to have some music going on. Yeah, so the, uh, the top, for He doesn't like his video intercept driver being taken away from him. But 55%. 25%. That a little better? All right. Enter. Jaws professional. Right. So really quick, this is how a screen reader works. Not enough time to really go into everything. But we window. Can, uh, Enter. Untitled. No alts. X. Window. We can use this opportunity Blank. maybe to... Uh, S -I -A 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 Enter. Information. I promised myself I wouldn't do any slides, so I'm trying to stick with it. S -I -A -B -A 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 Enter. There you go. That's my Twitter. Now you'll notice uh -oh. that... Uh, alts. Way, X. Can everybody read that? Oh, oh, it doesn't matter if you can't read that. I can't see the screen. All right. So... so Stop. You know... <laughs> and plus, it'll read it to you. See the bottom. So there's, there's that. At see the there we go. Now, just one quick thing. You'll notice, like, for capital letters, the pitch goes up. So if I go up here, uh -oh. and S I S. Now put a lowercase s beside it. Listen to the difference here. S S S S. Right. So you you notice the pitch change there. So that's an example of multi multimodal presentation of information. Right. Just being able to present information through different channels, which is really helpful. You you it could have said capital S, but that's three. Must start it. If I won't get back, so you know I'm I'm good having that kind of multimodal presentation. Oh, I, S. One other quick thing I'll show you here before we jump into some web examples are things like... Zero, alt, e, menu, edit, cut, control, plus X, unavailable, T. E. So cut, control, plus Colin started X, following... Stop talking. So cut, control, plus X, unavailable, T, right? And the idea Max here... Oh, that's Twitter going on here. I can, um, I can... Well, I need Twitter for one more second, but I'll, uh, then I'll, I'll shut him up so he doesn't talk so much on his own. Uh, you heard control, uh, cut, control, plus X, unavailable, T. And he said unavailable. He didn't say grayed out which is really useless if you can't see. Uh, but, uh, you know, unavailable is semantic, right? And this idea of semantic elements, I'm not going to have too much time to talk about, but is really important on the web. So this is a really safe space. We're going to have a little bit of a confession time, and it's totally okay. Um, but who here has used, like, a link, like an A tag, for example, and made it styled and rolled it as a button, for example? Say, say I, or clap your hands or something. Okay. And... That's, that, that's awesome, except it's not, um, because the, the problem there, right, is that it's not the native button element. And so when you, when you do that, you lose all these semantics that you don't know about. It's like holding up a picture of a doorway and then expecting people to be able to walk through it, right? It might look like a button, but it's not really a button underneath. And these native semantics are really are really, really important in the web when dealing with technologies like screen readers because they have certain expectations of how a link should work, how a button should work, how an image should work. So let's see a little bit of that uh, right now. Alt-Tab, leaving menus, JAWS Profet, Alt-Tab, see Windows, Alt-Tab, Jinx Optimization. Oh, and 
really quick, let's just send a tweet so I can go ahead and shut him up. I've got a headless interface to Twitter. Control with A, W, O, E, S, I, S, D, O, F, G, S, T, space, add. B, B, add, number, B, A, F, G, B, A, F, G, C, O, N, exclude space, number, F, D, enter. And that's off. So, we can go ahead and quit that. Control Windows Q, exiting. Yay. Okay, so now he won't keep reading Twitter while while I'm talking. Um, so title is Jigsaw. Here we go. Ars Technica. Here's Ars Technica. Ar I think a website. Are most folks familiar with this website? Yeah. All right. So Ars Technica is pretty good. They're using headings. Uh, when I say headings in HTML, can I just get it like a yay for people who know what that is? Okay. So and heading, true or false? Headings are used to make text bigger. Oh, that was so many good falses. I love you guys. All right. So the idea there is if you want to make text bigger, you can do that. It's called CSS and many other things, but a heading is structural, right? And because it's structural, I can I can Ars, jump across this page like this. Ours tech top post, in depth reports, heading left, video sheet, garbage in, economy pack, charter, now Comcast. Right. I can just hit enter on it, go to enter, that particular read only, article, et cetera, et cetera, because that level of semantic marketing RSS is used, right? Um, if we come over here. Hacker news. Hack Hacker news. Uh, this website. There are no headings on this page. Oh, no. Uh, okay, well, that's okay. What about HTML5, like the main region? There is no main region on this. Oh, well, what if we just down arrow a lot? Link graphic, link hack, link graphic, Y18. That's an awesome label for a graphic. Y18. Okay, let's see that. Link hacker new, link new, vertical bar, link comment, vertical bar, link show, vertical bar, link ask, vertical bar, <laughs> link job, vertical bar, link submit, link login, blank, table with three column, blank. Table? Is this 1999? Table with three blank. Anyway, let's keep going. Table one link vote link R twenty sixteen open got source a story. Well, I mean, I can navigate by a story, like by a column. Maybe I can just go down a column for the next story. That wouldn't be too bad. One hundred fifteen points by. Oh, okay, next column. Link to HN. Okay, and then five hundred two points by link and link. Okay. Link inside Palander link. And so on and so forth. This is way more painful than than Ars Technica. I, I hope you agree. And again, it would have been nine characters of code less than H two greater than whatever the title story goes here less slash H two greater to fix this problem, right? Maybe a little bit of CSS, but nine characters of code can have an amazing impact on uh, the user experience. And that's the kind of stuff that I get really passionate about, these really low-hanging fruit kinds of things that we can do. And it's things that we all screw up. This isn't one of those, why do you hate blind people? Um, you know, it's not, it's not like that. Like, I've done, I've made inaccessible code before, right? And just because I wasn't thinking about it, and it worked for me. And, and it's just thinking about failing forward and iterating and just what are the, the semantic things Things we can do in our code that make a huge impact on users. Let's see another example really quick. It's the front page of the internet. Okay, so here's Reddit. Um, how about some headings? Daily Reddit goal, goal heading level two clickable. Okay, that's not exactly very helpful, but. Wrapping oh! the top. Daily Reddit goal. Uh, okay, I guess I only get that one. Blank, um, 70. So I can, like, down arrow. Blank, link help support Reddit main grab button. Next button. What's this? Click upload button. I'm going rather fast just for time purposes. Bullet clickable. Download button. Link graphic d dot thumbs dot reddit media dot com slash six fly one c b h s n b p z w p w watch search fourteen g r j h forty seven e h z i c h h d low. Um, that was not helpful. Um, Link estimate how much any Uber ride will cost star right now star. Sure. Check real time searches and see. Great, thanks. Anyways, and so we could down arrow past all the vote up buttons and all of that. Again, nine characters code, just wrap this stuff in a heading, put some article tags around it. You know, very simple stuff that we can do on the web. We're not even getting into the complicated stuff yet that makes a really significant impact on folks. You notice some unlabeled graphics. I think there's another one on here that we can listen to. Advertiser slash 72891 0208F74DB3BAT0F4489D7C200 link graphic. So cool. Um, <laughs> So again, like I realize that ads suck for everyone. They suck especially much if you're blind and they don't have all text on them. And, and it's that kind of unlabeled link text that really, really matters, right? So always have all text on graphics. Sometimes it's appropriate to be an empty alt, and I can talk about that offline, but there's all these accessibility things we can do to just make users' lives a lot easier. And by the way, remember, everything I'm showing you here, like my interaction with technology is mediated through software, right? It's mediated through this thing called a screen reader. That's also true about things like Google or Bing or whatever your favorite search engine is, right? DuckDuckGo. So the idea there is that uh, when you make things more accessible, you make them more mobile friendly, you make them more search engine optimization friendly, all of those benefits come along for the ride. MCAN dash home. So M really quick, I wanted to show you some examples of good alt text on uh, images. This is the uh, Museum of Contemporary Art out of Chicago. And um, I'm just going to jump to the first graphic so we don't have to you know, navigate the whole site. So A black here we go, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, have it read it for you. So here we go. List of nine items, link graphic A, black and white.
white image of a laughing clown appears on the panel of red, white, and blue vertical stripes inside a gray frame. Inside the frame, above the image, a cubby hole is filled with holiday lights and campaign buttons in red, white, and blue sections that mirror the stripes below. Link ends to mark. Okay, so on and so forth. So they, they've done a really good job of putting all text on their images, and there's a whole project called Coyote, C-O-Y-O-T-E, that I've been working with them on for, like, in increasing accessibility across the institution, and we're open sourcing that whole thing as well, so it's, it's on GitHub now, which is awesome. Um, so, really quick. Web content. Uh, I just wanted to point out the web content accessibility guidelines. This is WCAG. There's a lot of great stuff here. If you have any questions on accessibility, come talk to me about, about this, and I'm happy to do it. I know I, I said um, uh, coding in the description of the talk. I wanted to briefly show you that, and then briefly show you the, the phone before I get off the stage. So, really quick on Windows C C Enter C E Co Enter E N O E E Escape Space Eight D period Y Enter Untitled Y Alt X P R T Space Load H Alt F N. Forget this. Why don't we use the interpreter? Title is C Escape. P Y O N Enter. We can just do that. And how about F O S Space I S R F E Left Baron Three Right Colon Enter Dot Dot Space P R T Space Load H A P P Y Space M O T R S Space D A Y C Space S F A X X X Click Load. Enter, enter, happy Mother's Day, shiver, happy Mother's Day, shiver, happy Mother's Day, shiver. And Shiva's mom, so happy Mother's Day, mom. E, ah, T, left, right, enter. E. All right, so uh, that's all. tab, code. web, I'm web, contact. Go over here, Con leave that up on the screen, but really briefly, I'm going to switch audio sources, and I apologize because you're going to hear a little click, but I'll try to be good about it. Okay, and so really briefly here, I'm going to do that. Screen come off. Come on, do it with it. One minute ago, mention my other words, CJ. 70%, 65%. So some of you might be complaining that you can't see what's on my screen. Join the club. Um, and so the Twitterific notification. Wallet. FaceTime. Type. Photos. Games folder. Vision folder. Games folder. I photos. Swipe across the screen, kind of like tabbing, for example. I can touch anywhere. You FaceTime. Shazam. Double tap to open. Right, double tap to open. So she gives you instructions. I can flick three fingers. Page two of ten. Page three of ten. Okay. This is built right into your iPhone. Settings, accessibility, or excuse me, settings, general accessibility, a bunch of stuff is there. Voiceover, uh, uh, TTY support for deaf and hard of hearing, uh, even virtual switch control. So somebody who can't even use their hands, who's paralyzed from the neck down, can use the camera, a little bit of computer vision, and bob their head to make gestures on iOS. All of the stuff is built in. Screen dim. Because of inclusive design. Uh, local. The last thing uh, I wanted to show you really quick. Double tap to open wallet handwriting speech rate words speech rate in the shape of a rotor like turning a virtual knob handwriting speech rate words speech and then we can do this so i can do this screen on which turns the screen curtain on which turns off the backlight which means i get a way better battery life than you guys do speech off speech on all right thank you so much guys